Oh, hello. I guess we're back? Welcome to another video. What am I gonna do today? No one told me we were doing this. Oh well, stay tuned because apparently I'm still That's right, I am still Dave Shades. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon for notifications. If you feel so inclined, hit me up on social media at The Dave Shades. Hit me up on Facebook and Patreon.com slash The Dave Shades. And hit me up on the web at TheDaveShades.com. All right, so welcome back. Today... We're just going to throw caution to the wind. We're going to go ahead and review a product I've never used today. I am sounding like a game show host. I promise I'll mellow out a little bit. I'm just excited to be here. <laughs> anyway, um, today we are reviewing a product that I got in the mail while I was on my hiatus. Um, and I'll go into a little bit about why I was on my hiatus uh, during the video, if I so choose. Nothing super exciting, but... Regardless, I'm back now. Um, the product I'm reviewing today is Lord Razor. Don't know much about it. I've seen it online a couple times, but one of my viewers sent this to me, actually, as a late Christmas slash Hanukkah gift. Uh, it was very, actually, very sweet of him. I was very appreciative. It, it actually meant a lot. So I will be... Uh, reviewing this razor. Um, I'm not going to review the blades today in this video because you know that when I review products, uh, specifically razors without my go-to blade, I never really get a good feel for it. So I'm going to save these Lord blades right here of which I got like, I think one, yeah, one, one Lord blade. Uh, I'll put it over here and I'll feature it in Probably one of my what the hell blade is this videos. We'll figure it out. But that is not for today. That's for a later time. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right there. But today we are gonna review the Lord Razor right here. It's kind of a neat little razor. It's got a nice little heft to it. It's not super heavy, but it does have a nice heft. It's got a nice long handle, longer than a lot of razors out there, longer than a lot of the razors I currently have in my possession. Um, to give you an idea, here is the Gillette Slim Adjustable, which is one of the longest handles I currently have. Actually, let's compare it to my Black Beauty, because that actually is the longest um, handle I have for a razor. So let's really go ahead and just take a look at, at the difference there. It's actually about the same, truthfully. The head's a bit bigger, so it actually looks a bit longer. So the handle is actually about the same length there. I like it. I like a long handle, so I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. All right, anyway, this is a typical three-piece razor. Unscrew the bottom, comes out like so, and you put the blade right in there. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about what else we're using. Obviously, as I mentioned, I am going to use my go-to blade, and that is a Voskod. It is my favorite blade, um, or at least it is, no, it is my favorite blade. I was gonna say, or else it's it's at least the one that I know the best and I know works the best for me. But honestly, you put all that together, it, it kind of really is my, my favorite blade currently on the market. So it is my go-to um, whenever trying new products or typically when I just wanna shave that I really know and really love and when I know what I'm getting from it, that's gonna be a Voskod. So uh, let's go ahead and just pop that right on in here so we can get that loaded up. That right there on the face plate, or the head rather, add the base plate to it, and then screw back on the handle. Um, turns out the heft actually comes mainly from the head. The, the handle itself is very, very light. So that's, 
That's interesting. We'll see. It's not, I mean, it's got a little, it's got a nice heft to it, but it's, it's still a very light razor overall. Um, but we'll see. It's got some nice blade gap on there, so I think we're going to get a good shave out of it. We'll see. Um, with that, we're going to be using some Palm Olive Men shave cream that I absolutely love. And since it has been a while since I've shaved, as you can tell by the growth, I'm probably going to need something a little soothing on there. So I'm going to use some sensitive, cooling, soothing post-shave balm from Nivea Men. You know how much I love this stuff. And then I'm going to be splashing on after that some skin bracer aftershave. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Oh, also uh, for the brush, we're going to be using my Viking Revolution Badger Hair. So uh, let's just go ahead and basically start this. Um, I do need to wash my face and I need to put some lotion on there. So let's go ahead and just get that rocking and rolling real quick. That way we can just get this party started. So on and so forth. So, all right. And of course, we are using my Neutrogena Men face scrub with my Vaseline Men lotion that I have in here as my pre-shave. So, uh, let's just go ahead and wash my face. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everybody has been well. Uh, it's been yeah, it's been over a month uh, or about a month since I've done a video, so I apologize for that. But it's been it's been relatively eventful. Um, just a lot a lot going on. I'm not going to go into all the details, but there's a lot going on before the um, in the past just couple months or month or what honestly a couple months it's been a, just a busy couple months but a lot really went on in the past month and just life got away from me I uh, will just put it that way and then also on Christmas I had a fight with my cat and lost <laughs> um it's a long story I basically There was a dog in my apartment, not a random dog, a dog that I knew was coming, a dog that moved in with me, um, basically got a dog, uh, my roommate's dog, but got a dog and I had a roommate move in. That's another thing. So, um, roommate moved in, got a dog, dog went to attack the cat, cat tried to get away. I tried to lift the cat away from the dog, should have moved the dog, but instead I moved the cat. Cat freaked out, clawed the hell out of my face, and I looked pretty rough for quite a few weeks. Um, and that happened on Christmas Day. Everything just now heals. If you look closely, you can see some scars on my nose and around my eye. Um, so that was interesting. So, I was going to get a video up around that time, but honestly, I looked pretty rough. And some of my friends told me that I should probably just wait until everything healed. So I did, and then things healed, and then life got in the way, and it's just, it's just been a time. But I'm back now. I'm happy to be back. I'm hoping to get to the point where I can get steady stream of videos up um so we'll see we shall see but so that's that let's just go ahead and put some shave cream right in here and for those that are wondering the cat is fine the dog is fine everything is fine it was just they took each other by surprise <laughs> and it just didn't necessarily go as well as you would hope. 
but honestly, they're fine. So. They're fine. I'm fine. Honestly, I took the brunt of it. Um, neither of them had any real injuries. I took the, my face took the brunt of it and it was, it was bad. Kind of wish I had gotten some, I think I got some pictures. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw a picture up in one of my videos just to show you at some point. Um, it's rough. It's pretty rough. Um, but I heal nicely and apparently I heal pretty quickly. So that's good. And this video is already getting away from me. So not only am I back, but you're getting a long video today. Yay! I'll try to limit this as much as possible. dropping shaving cream everywhere. That's, that's not good. That's not good at all. I need a bigger bowl. I've been saying that in a lot of videos recently, but I really do. It's getting about time where I just bite the bullet and buy a bigger bowl. Um, so that's going to be a thing I'm going to have to do. All right. I think we got that lathered up enough. Let's go ahead and Splash a little bit more hot water on my face. Alright. I'm gonna get the lotion going. Let's go ahead and just start lathering up. Ooh. Problem with long hair, shaving cream kind of gets everywhere. Everywhere. Let's just go ahead and get this party started. Oh. Okay. Just trying to find the line here. Honestly, right off the bat, I can tell you it's giving me a good shave. It really is. And very smooth. Like, feeling on the skin, very smooth. Very, very smooth. And it's giving me a nice line around my sideburn and my goatee and everything.
Sorry, I know I'm a bit quiet, but I really am trying to just get a good feel for this. And while I have to go over the areas a few times, you know, in one direction, as you can sort of see, it is actually taking a nice amount of hair off pretty quickly there. Like for the first pass, and I still haven't even really needed to rinse it. I'm gonna need to rinse it like very soon, but Okay. Pass one is done. And honestly, it's very smooth. I mean, I'm gonna have to go in for the other two cleanup passes, obviously. Um, but you can see that aside from like right in this area, it took it off nicely. Very, very nicely. So. I'm impressed. No pulling, no tugging. It cut through it really good. No irritation after shaving off that much hair. And usually with situations like that, there easily can be. Um, it actually takes even, you know, a lot of people say that a safety razor is great for cutting through growth, but really it depends on the safety razor. Not all double-edged razors are able to cut through like this one did. So I'm impressed. Um, this thing is a lot more, I was expecting a very mild razor, but it's, it's more aggressive than I had expected. Um, and that's a plus, you know, that's definitely, that is definitely a plus. And you can see how well the shave cream is going on my face for the second pass as opposed to the first pass. You can see like, that's just how smooth it is because you could see the hair poking through before. So this is actually, that really, really shows you how well the first pass went. Um, let's go ahead and start pass two here. I mean, and honestly, it's, it really does feel just like it's gliding on my skin very well, which, you know, a part of that is the shave cream. Obviously it's a good shave cream. You know, I love it. But another part of that is just, it's, it's this razor. It really is just a really well-made razor. I gotta say. Yeah, I'm impressed. And there's not much slippering, slipping on the handle with my hand. Um, so the knurling is good and it's, it's got a nice grip to it. You can see the knurling right there on the handle and it really does have a nice grip to it. So that's good. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this razor. So far after the second pass, I'm still loving this thing. Um, I am really, really impressed. If memory serves, it's not an expensive razor. All right. 
Let's just go in for the third pass and get this finished up. You don't need to press down, it cuts through it nicely, regardless. And what's nice is with all that hair that was there, I would expect some form of nick cut, again, irritation, like I had mentioned earlier, but I'm not. Um, it's cutting through it smooth. And it's actually giving me quite a decent shave, even in my problem areas. Um, I don't know much about this razor. I didn't think it was an expensive razor. And by the way that it's packaged and the feel of, the, of it, it doesn't really feel like a super expensive razor. So I'm that just makes me even more impressed by it. Really super impressed. All right. Um, let's just go ahead and call that good. Great. Rinse everything off here. All right. And let's just come in for some final remarks. All right, um, down here, very bottom of the neck, there's some stubble, but I think that's just the way I was shaving. I think I just missed a couple spots, nothing major. Up here in the center, which another problem area, there's virtually no, there's maybe a, if you go this way right here, no other direction, just right there, running your finger this direction, there's a little bit of stubble. Other than that, that's really it. It really is a nice, nice, smooth shave. So, Lord Razor, check it out. It is a great product. I am very impressed. Um, I'm not sure. It's from the Solomon Holding Company, SHG. Um, I don't know. It looks like it was made in Egypt. So it's an Egyptian razor. Um, Go Egypt, because hell yeah, hell yeah, great product, absolutely fantastic product. I mean, this was easily almost two weeks worth of growth, almost two weeks worth of growth. I have actually not shaved much since my last video. Um, I think I shaved maybe, maybe once or twice, so this really was about two full weeks worth of growth, um, and it just cut through it like butter, like but, um, it was good. Very, very good. So let's go ahead and splash on some of my Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. 
and put on some skin bracer and we will finish this up. I appreciate I appre appreciate I appreciate y'all tuning in. I appreciate you bearing with me. I got some messages while I was gone saying I was missed. So I hope I get those comments below telling me I was missed. I am happy to be back. I am still Dave Shaves, as I said, and it is good to be here. I'm hoping to not take that long of a break again. So, all right. But thank you all for bearing with me. Thank you for sticking with me and thank you for coming back. And even it seems over the course of my time away, I actually grew a little bit on the YouTube front as far as, you know, subscribers. So that's good. I'm actually coming up on 380 subscribers. We are only 20 away from the 400 mark. So please, please, please give me that love. Give me that support. Hit that subscribe button. If you don't know anybody, if you know people who might like this video that aren't currently subscribing, please, please, please give them this information. I'd love to see the love and support. Uh, that being said, if you're watching this video and you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, if you like all my videos, hit that like button. Give me some comments below. If you feel so inclined, please do hit me up on social media. That is Instagram and Twitter at The Dave Shaves. Hit me up on Facebook.com slash The Dave Shaves. Hit me up on Patreon.com slash, you guessed it, The Dave Shaves. And hit me up on the web at TheDaveShaves.com. Again, that said, of course, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I'll see you on my next video.